In today's video, I am building two small picket fence sections. This project is not only a DIY project, but it's very affordable and it adds a bit of curb appeal to any house. So staying with the home improvement series, this is another one of those uh, videos. Uh, but of course I am making these small sections for different areas around my house as in uh, one around the air unit uh, on one end of my house and another to go in front of my trash cans at the end of my driveway. But this project or this fence could be scaled to fit any need. Um, for example, like fencing off around a patio. Uh, another great thing about this project is that there's only a few cuts to be made. So you could actually make these uh, cuts with a handsaw yourself or have the store where you purchase your lumber uh, to cut them for you. Either way, it's a simple project that anyone can do. To get started, I need two 2x4s two for each section. So I start by cutting them to length and spacing them out enough to screw the fence boards into place. Now, these fence boards are about four foot in length and they come already dog-eared on one end as a decorative touch, which I really like. And at just a little more than a dollar a piece, they make for an affordable option for this project. Uh, but with the two by fours laid out, I place a fence board on each end of the section and square them up to the two by fours. And once I have the fence board squared up to the two by fours, I secure the fence boards with one screw until I have a screw in all four pivot points. Now this allows me to adjust the full section and make sure it's square before locking it in place by adding another screw into each location. Now, now those two boards on each end are the only ones that need two screws in each location. That just locks everything in place. And then I just proceed to space each board out with a scrap piece of three quarter inch plywood just to give a uniform look. And I secure each of those boards with one screw into each two by four. Now that I have the fence panel built, I can move on to cleaning it up by sanding it to remove all the splinters and, and rough surfaces. Uh, on this project, I only used 80 grit to clean it up. For me, there's no need to sand down any more than that. As long as the stain is easily applied, I'm good. Uh, I want to take just a second to say thanks to Atlas46, who is the sponsor of this video. By now, if you have been following me for any length of time, you know that Atlas46 supports a lot of what I do, and this video is no, no exception. Uh, as you saw while, while I was building the fence, uh, I wear a shop vest made by Atlas 46 and it has become part of my everyday gear in the shop and as I build things. Uh, they offer more than just shop vests so I'll leave a link down in the description so you guys can check them out. Uh, but here I'm staining the fence panels and I've got an interesting uh, little tip for you. I'm using an English chestnut stain without mixing, mixing it up. Uh, English chestnut has a red tint, but I don't like the red tint, but I like the brown color that I get out of English chestnut without mixing it up. So I'll dip my brush. I won't mix, I won't mix up the stain. I'll remove the top and just dip my brush without going all the way down. And I get this brown color that I just love. And I can't find this brown color in any other stain other than doing it this way. So when installing two fence panels together in this manner, or as in to make a corner, I butt the two by fours up together and install screws from the outside of the fence into the ends of the two by fours. Now this holds it enough to add in a four by four, which I didn't show when making my cuts, but the four by four is there to add strength to the overall fence. And I stained it the same color so it would blend in with the fence and you couldn't see it uh, between the fence panel or the fence boards. Uh, a couple of screws from each side into the 4x4 through the 2x4s did the job to hold the whole fence structure in its place. Because my yard has a slight slope here, I added in a treated ground stake to make the fence look level and look good from the road. Now, the last thing that I did here was just kill off the grass so I wouldn't have weeds and grass growing up in between the air unit and the fence. And also, if you decide to build this for yourself, uh, make sure you leave enough room between the air unit and the fence for airflow. Uh, but this project turned out pretty good and it added a nice touch in an area that was otherwise unattractive. So guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos and be sure to check out the links in the description. We'll see you next time.